Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mrs Bridger, I'm the head teacher here. Such a shame that we're not meeting you in person. It's always a pleasure uh, meeting the parents of our new Year 7 boys. Um, sadly, we can't do that at the moment, but I hope that this goes some way to letting you know a little bit more information about Greenacre and hopefully we will be able to meet up soon and you come in and see the school. So it's been a shame that you haven't been able to come round and view our school and see it in action, but please rest assured you have made the right decision. Uh, being an all boys school means that we uh, know the strategies to teach boys. They uh, learn in very, very different ways to girls uh, and we're really able to capitalise on that. So we are part of the Skills for Life Trust, and that means uh, Greenacre, Waterslade Girls, and three other primary schools. That gives us a massive advantage because we can learn from one another, we understand the key stages in primary, the primary schools learn about the secondary schools, and we can really work together and make sure that we are uh, giving the absolute best to our staff, sharing great ideas, sharing training resources, and equally sharing sites at times. Bringing on to staff, um, it's quite important that uh, we have a number of long-serving staff. And as parents, I would be interested to know about staff turnover. Boys generally don't like change. And whilst we, of course, get staff move around, generally our staff have been with us for some time, as well as bringing in new members of staff every year whilst being a, a teacher training school. We use the latest teaching initiatives and having the strength of five schools really enables us to demonstrate that in the classroom and share it amongst our trust schools. In terms of the curriculum, we offer a really broad engaging and balanced curriculum. It's really important that we move with the times, that if something's not working for our boys, we change it. Um, everything we do and every decision we make has the boys at the centre of it. I think the most successful way for boys to, uh, for our students to go through school is by having this three-staged approach. By the three-stage approach, I mean that uh, we would have a home school agreement and our agreement should be between ourselves, the school, you, the parents, and your sons, the student. And it's really, really important that your son recognises there are simple rules that we expect him to follow. Arrive on time, try your hardest, don't be rude to anyone, hand in your work. That's pretty much sums up what I'm saying there. Obviously, being organised, being ready for school, uh, being prepared with equipment, and absolutely trying their hardest. I don't think they're unreasonable requests. So we've made expectations on your son. What should you expect from us? Well, you should expect that your son is exposed to high quality uh, lessons that stimulate him, that engage him, that make him want to be curious and find out more and improve his knowledge all the time. We aim to provide your son with a safe and secure environment. And as any parent knows, that's incredibly important. We will provide you with information about how your son's progressing. And we do that in the form of reports. In addition to that, we regularly email. Uh, my staff are incredibly good at putting things out on social media, on our website. We try and communicate in every single way possible. We of course expect boys to uh, arrive on time, to behave, and if that's going wrong somewhere, we give our commitment to you that we'll communicate with you and we'll try and work through a resolution. So, we've said what we're expecting from the boys. We've said what you should expect from us. And what do we expect from you as parents? Support us, really. That is the number one aim. Communicate with us. Let us know if something's going wrong. We'll try and work together to fix it. This really leads me on to Skills for Life and what makes us unique and what we are about. As you know, we're part of the Skills for Life Trust, but it's more than that. It really weaves through everything we do at Greenacre. We take our Skills for Life values really, really seriously. And as you will see, the acronym Employ Me, which is written up on the screen now, weaves through everything that we do. We focus on different Skills for Life, but more than anything for parents, I wanted to explain the vision is that we want our young people ready for the world of work. We want them leaving us armed with the right skills. 
And we sat down many years ago and thought, how can we uh, help our boys to be the most employable? And we sat and considered various skills. Actually, if our boys can maintain eye contact, if they can hold a good conversation, if they can be quite self-sufficient, if they can have patience and listen, really listen, if they have good manners, and I'm sure as parents that's something that you've taught them to, to do and we'll continue that. If they're organised, if they try hard, if they communicate effectively, if they're able to maintain that eye contact in that first interview when they leave us, it will put them on a much brighter path to getting great employment in the future. And that's what we want for all of our boys and that's what makes us unique. It's been an absolute pleasure just telling you a little bit about the school. I can't wait to meet your sons and I can't wait to meet you later on in the year. Take care. Thank you. Hello, I'm Mrs Campbell. I'm the Deputy Head Teacher here at Greenacre Academy and I'm also Head of Pastoral, which means that I'm responsible for attendance, punctuality and behaviour here at Greenacre Academy. What that means for your son is on a day-to-day -day basis, he'll probably see me in the corridors um, discussing with them all about employing me, our skills for life values, and how that can really contribute to fantastic conduct in and around school and the local community. The first thing I'd like to talk to you about today is your son's uniform in September. Now, many of you may have already been to the uniform shop and seen what our uniform looks like. You may also have purchased some of that uniform on parent pay, but I just wanted to clarify what that uniform um, is. So um, what we have here is a wonderful picture of one of our year 11 leavers um, styling his fantastic uniform. It is indeed a black blazer with a green Acre logo on it. And um, it is a Green Acre Academy school tie. And that tie will be used from year seven all the way through to the end of year 10. A white shirt, a pair of black trousers, and black hard-soled shoes. Now at Greenacre Academy, from our parent pay and main reception, you can buy iron-on badges for blazers, you can purchase the um, Greenacre Academy tie, and you can also buy aprons that will be required in DT. The rest of the uniform can either be purchased from a um, uniform shop, um, school time, or you can buy it from local outlets such as Asda and Tesco's because it is just plain white shirt plain black trousers and hard soled shoes. In terms of PE kit, I know that um, lots of our students are really excited to um, have a brand new um, Greenacre Academy PE kit um, and parents should be really pleased as well because we've moved away from the white polo t-shirt which is incredibly difficult to get mud out of in the winter when the boys are playing rugby and we've moved over to a, a Greenacre Academy uh, embossed PE top um, and it is black black shorts, um, black tracksuit bottoms and a black jumper and all of that can be purchased from the local um, uniform shop so school time is a good example. Um, and what the key thing about um, our uniform here is and, and I'm sure you will agree with us is that we are very reasonably priced and um, we know obviously being an all boys school how quickly boys grow and how quickly they can go through uniform and, and we have tried and made every effort to ensure that all of our uniform is reasonably priced and so therefore we do have the expectation that all students will have green acre emblazoned PE kit and uniform. So that's uniform and as I said to you before one of the key things that I want to talk to you about is attendance. And we have very high expectations on attendance at Greenacre Academy. Now, the last 16 months has been extremely challenging for everybody, and I'm sure you would agree. Um, students have been in and out of school, um, isolating in different bubbles, and we're really hoping that we've turned a corner on that and we will see an end to it. Um, but we maintain very high standards on the time that we expect students to be in school. And that target for all students, in fact, it shouldn't be a target it's a minimum expectation is 97 percent so we would expect to see your son for a minimum of 97 percent of the time should our coronavirus pandemic continue and um, to blight the attendance to school that actually isn't taken into consideration and will not count against your son so what we would encourage for um, you is to stay good communication with us as a school and really encourage your son to be in as often and as regularly as he possibly can. 
Now that doesn't just go for attendance, that also goes for punctuality. Our start time in September is 8.30 and we do expect our students to be in for just before 8.30 because we do carry out a lineup for each year group, getting them ready to start the day where we ensure that their uniform is in a very presentable condition, they have their basic equipment with them and they go off to form time. So 8.30 is the start time and we do encourage our students to be punctual. In terms of behaviour, we have a very robust um, behaviour system at Greenacre Academy and I'm really, really pleased to talk to you about our fantastic rewards because we are all about positive reinforcement at Greenacre. So we will reward your son for um, fantastic attendance, for demonstrating the skills for life values, so we really do encourage excellence in everything they do, great listening skills, organisation, fantastic manners in and outside of the community. And when we see those things taking place, we do reward them. And that can go from anything from um, stationery, sweets, day trips out, um, whole year group rewards with inflatables coming onto site. Um, the rewards uh, side of our partial system is just absolutely fantastic. And it's something that all of our students really, really enjoy. We couple that with our sanction system and it is important that we encourage um, good skills for life behaviours. So as I said, those listening skills, those organisation organization skills, what we really want from our students is that they come into school focused and ready to learn. So what we want for your sons is that they come into their classroom in an um, uninterrupted environment. And obviously, should we have times where students make mistakes, as they do, uh, young people always will, and um, we have a system in place for dealing with that so that your children can continue to learn in a very positive environment. All that it remains for me to say now is um, we're ever so sorry that we haven't been able to do this face to face. I'm really looking forward to meeting some of your sons next week during transition week and we will see you in September. Hopefully things will have changed slightly by then and we might be able to get together face to face and um, spend some time talking about your sons all together. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Hello, my name is Mrs Bennett and I am the Raising Standards Lead for Key Stage 3. I'm also one of the assistant head teachers here at Greenacre Academy. Now, what that means for your son is that no matter what his unique starting point may be, my job is to make sure that he makes the best possible progress he can while he is with us. When your son reaches Key Stage 4, we then pass over to my colleague Mrs Allen, who is another one of the assistant head teachers. For tonight's event, all I want to talk to you about is some key information in the coming weeks that's going to support your son before he starts with us in September. So firstly, Mrs Campbell mentioned about uniform sales. And as she said, we can um, provide you with the badges for blazers, ties and the aprons for DT. These can all be paid for on parent pay. On the screen now, you can see the dates that these uniform sales will be able to be collected from our reception. So all the way through summer school, which is the 26th of July to the 30th of July, from 10 until 2. And then we will also be open on the two results days, which are Tuesday the 10th of August and Thursday the 12th of August. And on these days, it will be available from 12 till 2 to collect any uniform that you have purchased through Parent Pay. In September, we are fully aware that your sons won't have necessarily spent much time in the building, especially if they're not able to attend summer school. So what we're doing is we're providing your son a full transition day. This will go from 8.30, the normal start time, but will finish at 2 p.m. on the 1st of September. During this day, your son will be able to spend time with his form tutor, he'll get to experience some different lessons, and he'll hopefully be able to come home with all different stories of things that he's been enjoying, and then we'll look forward to the rest of his time with us. As I've already mentioned, we have got our summer school running next week from Monday through to Friday, and this is from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. each day. Now, we have had a fantastic sign up for this and we're really looking forward to meeting your sons on those days. We've got some fantastic opportunities for team building, your sons getting to know our staff and the other students in their form group while they're with us. Some key notes, students can wear whatever they want to as long as it is comfortable for them to participate in any physical activities and lunch will be provided when he is with us. Finally, I'd just like to finish by saying thank you for joining us this evening. And if you do have any questions, please make use of the email address that is on screen to contact us directly. And please look at our website, our Facebook and our Twitter for any updates of what we're doing at the moment. Thank you very much and look forward to seeing you soon.